Hello, friends. I have My Heart is a Compass by Deborah Marcero. It features Rose, who's on the hunt for some show and tell. Rose longed to be an explorer, a pioneer, a trailblazer. Do you see her in the tree? Her heart was set on discovering something that had never been found to bring, to show and tell. So she's looking through binoculars whoosh, all the way here to the X, the very top of the mountain. The X marks the spot. She had one problem. She didn't know what it was or where to find it. She looks through a telescope. It could have been anything, something exotic, something magical. Did it even exist? Where could she find such a thing? She's wearing a snorkel, so she's able to go underwater and see the mermaid. For that, she needed a map, not an atlas or a globe. To find the secret coordinates, she would have to draw her own map. As she sketched and scaled, Rose's hand quivered. Her lines wiggled and shimmied off the page. Her imagination became a blueprint. With her heart a compass. Look, she's so imaginative. The roads or her path, however you think, is coming off of the page. She scooted off. So this red mark is her path. She's in her scooter with her cat. And here is her map. She's showing us from home all the way through the town into Sunset Bay where the X marks the spot. That's the destination. She's hoping to find treasure. And the legend here, that's part of a map uh, that tells you what the different symbols on a map mean. So here it shows the, the red um, squares are Rose's path. And so you can look and say, oh, okay, cool. That's how she got there. And then you can look at other things the blue squares, the river, we see that. And then the, the green, and this is the ocean. Sunset Bay, and that's what a bay is, where the, there's this kind of pushed in part or recessed part. The ocean meets maybe another river, something like that, and land a bay. Let's see if she finds something at Sunset Bay. At the beach. Rose saw plenty of sea stars, shells, and gulls, but there was no treasure to be found. I <laughs> wonder what she has in mind. So Rose charted the sky and launched into the cosmos. And a rocket ship. Let's see. Ooh. This legend says the blue dots are Rose's path. So she leaves, you know, the, the Sunset Bay area, launches goes past the, the airplanes delivering airmail, goes past the weather balloon, past big dreams, it says, into outer space where the stars are. Look at all those constellations, stars that make a shape of some type. And then, oh, she comes back into the thermosphere, past a meteor shower, those yellow marks, or the meteor shower, past the clouds, and then right about here, she ejects from the rocket ship and floats safely down back to, to land, to Earth, in a parachute Ooh, to Cat Island. I see that X there by Cat Island. Although the atmosphere was full of adventures, shooting stars, billowing northern lights, Rose parachuted to an island still empty-handed. So she mapped the ocean and set sail. Hang on, kitty. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. Red dots. Legend says it's Rose's Pass, so she leaves Cat Island, sails past slug sandbars, through Bunny Isles, past Sleeping Dragon Sea, or through Sleeping Dragon Sea, into Hippo's Mouth Bay. See that kind of recess, that sea shape, where the ocean meets the land? That's a bay. This is Hippo's Mouth Bay, so a different bay than the other one. Let's see if she finds something. Rose found harbor in a city where skyscrapers mirrored every cloud and rainbow, but there was no rare jewel to behold. Uh, 
She's looking for a jewel. So she plotted train tracks into the mountains. Oh, and here's, see it says train tracks here, train. So we follow those past Secret Lair, past Blue Dragon Smoky Mountains, past Lake in the Clouds to the last stop. Where she stepped off as the low sun painted the end of another day, Rose knew she must return home with nothing in her pockets. This is the return map, and she floats down in a hot air balloon. Wow. Nothing to show. Hmm. Nothing to tell. She found herself in the same place she began. There in her room, and her mom says, Rose, there you are. Looks like circle time, right? The next day in class, when Rose's train came, her stomach sank. Oh. And then she shared her story of searching far and wide, high and low, and returning empty-handed. The class was silent. But look, Rose, look, you have something in your hands. Right, friends? She's got something. Then... Rose looked around the room and finally saw it, too. She had found something no one had ever seen or heard before. That's her outer space map, and right? That's what she was holding. She had her maps. And they're looking at them, and they're saying, A fairy tale, beautiful. Wow, magic. Bravo. Spectacular. Amazing. I think they like them. How do you think that made Rose feel? Because she, her stomach sank. <sighs> Oh no, it's my turn, and I don't have anything. Maybe she was a little nervous, but she shared her maps and they loved them. Think it made her happy? It was more than the world. It was everything she imagined. She felt like an explorer, a pioneer, a trailblazer. And everyone who had the chance to hear Rose's tale did too. So they could imagine going on some adventure with her when they looked at her maps. Wow, very cool. And you know what? I think they're inspired because look, she they're all um, making maps too. She inspired them. This is her what we just saw, her drawing her path to the moon. Very creative. He's drawing a haunted house. Uh, she's drawing a magic forest. So they're all using their imagination and and sharing these, maybe a place they'd like to go or a favorite place in their, in their maps. Friends, I would like to do that with you in another video is think of somewhere I'd really like to go and draw a map to it with you. Okay, thank you for listening. Have a good day. Much love.